Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. Today we got our first movie facts video and it's a damn honor to make it on the coolest alien of all time, the Predator. Now these facts are not exactly on the Predator himself. This video will show you facts on the movie itself as there are many cool things about it and I'm sure you might not know about them so sit back, grab a hot ass babe by the ass cheek and enjoy 10 awesome facts on one of the coolest, manliest movie of all time. Let's begin. Number 10. The movie was originally supposed to have more than one Predator. Lucky for Arnold, they only went with one, because that was definitely more than enough. Number 9. The filming locations of Predator took place in Jalisco, Palenque, Chiapas, and Puerto Rico in Mexico. The crew had to deal with a lot of problems in the jungle location they chose though. For example, there were real poisonous snakes and scorpions that invaded the set during filming, but when it came to hiring extras, they were hoping to get at least 200 Mexicans that would show up, but they ended up getting over 300 that showed up instead. Number 8. The cool thing that the screenwriters went with was stripping away the elements of the modern organized world, which meant that Arnold and his men had the most technological weaponry and none of their weapons worked in taking down the Predator. And in the end, Arnold was reduced to making bows and arrows to hunt down the Predator. Number 7. Sony Burnham, aka Billy, had to have security close by because he was known to start fights in bars after getting wasted. Funny, because he's like the quietest guy in the movie. Number 6. Bill Duke improvised a scene where he's shaving while waiting for the Predator to get caught on their trap. The crew scrambled on set to make a razor that would squirt blood out, so pretty interesting. <laughs> Number 5. Carl Weathers actually made an appearance in the Toy Story Halloween special. He played a soldier toy and although his name is not Dylan like in Predator, his name was instead Combat Carl, like his real name, Carl Weathers. Also the toy is missing an arm just like Dylan gets his arm blown off by the Predator. Number 4. Jesse Ventura was delighted to find out from the wardrobe department that his arms were 1 inch bigger than Arnold's. So he made a bet with Arnold that they measure who's got the biggest biceps and the winner will get a bottle of champagne. Ventura lost because Schwarzenegger had told the wardrobe department to tell Ventura that his arms were bigger. Number 3. The Predator's blood was originally supposed to be orange, but probably didn't look as good as neon green blood. Something that managed to stand out in a completely green environment. Number 2. The director John McTiernan got the idea of the Predator's wrist bomb countdown in a dream he had. This is interesting as many directors have gotten iconic scenes out of their own nightmares. Number 1. Arnold got sick during filming and he did a whole scene with an IV drip in his arm. He actually starts getting thinner as the movie progresses because he was afraid to get worse by eating the food in Mexico. It is understandable as a lot of Mexican food is deep fried and there's usually too much oil involved. I got sick in Mexico and so did my girlfriend so it's very understandable. But if you exclude the deep fried food then it all kicks ass. Here's a bonus fact I gotta include. Jerry Goldsmith was originally approached to score the film, but he was unavailable at the time. If you're not familiar with Jerry Goldsmith, he's made a ton of great movie scores such as one of my favorite films, The Mummy. The score for that movie was fantastic. Now, the score we got for the movie Predator turned out to be perfect, so it's hard to say if I'd rather prefer the original approach. Because in the end, oh my god, that theme song for the Predator just kicks so much fucking ass. Here's another bonus fact. Jean-Claude Van Damme was originally supposed to be the Predator, but back then they had a different Predator design which appeared to look a complete opposite design than the badass Predator we all know of, so it might not have looked as cool as you'd expect. Now they say that Van Damme was dropped for being too short at 5'9", and this wouldn't look so terrifying compared to Arnold and his team of bodybuilders who were between 6'2 and 6'5". One last bonus fact, the actor they went with for the Predator was Kevin Peter Hall, who then returned to put on the Predator costume one more time for its sequel, Predator 2. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, leave a thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you haven't. It truly helps me out a lot. And if you'd like to see 10 awesome facts on your favorite movie, just write it down in the comments. I'm gonna branch out with all sorts of kick-ass movie facts, gaming facts, and all sorts of shit that we love, so fill up that comment section with all the best movies, shows, and anything you'd like to see a video on for the next upcoming videos. Anyways, see you all tomorrow, and remember to have an awesome day.